you may think all that is needed for printing is to hit the control p key but usually the result ends up unsatisfied with your boss because sometimes the print does not cover the entire data in a single paper or can even miss out on important information sometimes they split in weird places or you just get a few lines printed on a page the margins are off as well So hello and welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video you will learn how to present your data in a more appealing way in the paper using the page layout tab. Page layout helps to get a better view and idea of how the data will get printed. It ensures clarity on how the spreadsheet split while printing. For immediate printing this option is the best way to use it. So to activate this option click on the view tab and click on the page layout option you can also land in this by using the page layout option down here it is clearly shown how the worksheet is split in different pages excel has also given us a separate tab for the page layout in which we have different groups separated by these lines the first group is the themes the page setup the scale to fit the sheet options and the arrange in this video we will particularly deal with the options available in the page setup group so the first option we have is the margins now here we have got different options to set our margins by default excel sets it up in the normal margin if you click on white you can see the distance has increased and if you click on narrow you can see the distance has decreased So I will select the narrow option for my data. We also have something called as custom margins where you can set your margin level by yourself. You can set it on the left, the top, the right, the bottom and also for the header and footer which will cover in the next video. The next option we have is the orientation. Using different orientation makes the result even more better and attractive. By default worksheets are printed in portrait orientation which is otherwise called as taller than wide you can change the orientation any time based on your worksheet to improve the result let's see if i select the landscape orientation you can see the page has become much wider the next option we have is the size the paper size we have a lot of options available for paper sizes you can select any of them so we would select a4 which is preferred for our data next we have the print area which we will be seeing in the upcoming videos next we have the page break option adding page break or deleting breaks can control the layout when having multiple worksheets dividers divide a worksheet into separate pages for printing before that let us take a look at the page break view The page break view changes the zoom factor so that we can see more of the worksheet and it displays the page numbers overlaid on the pages. The current print range is displayed in white background and the other one is displayed in gray background. So it displays all page breaks as draggable dashed lines. Now, if you notice here, the break is inserted at the 32nd row. but i want it at the 25th row so my data is equally divided in two pages so when i drag it up you can see the break is inserted over here you can either drag this manually or you can select the row or column where you want to insert the page break go to breaks and click on insert page break if you want to remove any page break you can again select the same column where you want to remove or the same row where you want to remove and click on remove breaks if you want to reset everything you can click on reset page breaks so i go back to the page layout view here still if you see the columns are not in a single page so i want all the columns to appear in one page so i can go to scale to fit group in the width i can select one page 
and this will help me fit all my columns in a single page similarly you can do it for the rows as well so the next option coming back to page setup we have is the background if you want to add a background for your data you can do it by clicking on the background option so let's say i click on background from a file i select this particular image to insert in my background so you can see it has inserted if you want to delete it you can click on delete background next we have the print titles so if you see when i clicked on print titles a page setup dialog box popped up in the print title section they ask me rows to repeat at the top and columns to repeat at the left so since we have rows over here which are the title rows and i want them to repeat in every page so i will just click on this arrow here which will collapse my dialog box select the row i want to repeat and click okay so now you can see we have the row heading in each of the pages now here we have a small arrow which is called the page setup which helps me land in the page setup dialog box so if you notice we have four options here the page the margins the header footer and the sheet so the page we have already seen the orientation in the page we have seen the scalings we have seen the paper sizes the print quality depends upon your printer next we have the margins option we have seen the margins option as well the header and footer we will be covering in the upcoming video last option we have is the sheet the print area which will be again covered in the next video print titles we have seen about it coming to the grid lines by default excel does not print grid lines but there is an option to print with grid line so you can select it if you want to print if you want to print in black and white you can do it as well draft quality is used when you are taking a test print so rows and column headings what let's see what happens when i click this so when i select this and go to print preview you can see the row and column headers are also printed alongside so if you want to do this you can click on the row and column headings if you have any comments and notes to be displayed you can use this and if your cell has any error you can choose either to display it or to display it blank or a dash or na so next we have the page order you want to see it down then over or you want to see it over then down this is all about the page setup option in excel if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for instant updates see you in the next video